Hey everyone, Logan Bose here with Cine Dorks, and it's time for our weekly news update once again. There is a ton to talk about this week. We got Aperture's official announcement of the 600D, the Panasonic S5 getting 5.9K ProRes RAW support, eh? Pretty crazy, right? No. Huh? No, please. Why? This is big news. We also got the iFooted Shark Nano coming out, people have given rave reviews to. No. It's the Friday after Thanksgiving. Are you that deft? It's a news show. Give us those Black Friday deals. Really? Give us those Black Friday deals. Okay then, Black Friday deals it is. So it's Black Friday and there's a pandemic and everyone is staying home and ordering Christmas gifts online. So you know what that means. I mean, Cyber Monday got bumped up three days. Rap, 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 air horn. Anyways, before we get started here, you can find all the links I specifically discussed in the description below. The Amazon links are affiliate links, though other links are not. B&H, where's my affiliate approval, man? You're holding out on me. Let's start with the brand deals, and there's no more popular brand than Aperture. They're offering 15% off their 300X bicolor cob light and 20% off their bones mount spotlight attachments as well as various accessories for that attachment. They're also offering a 35% discount on the Aperture MW, their tiny but powerful waterproof cob light. I personally have one of these and it's a pretty useful light for providing nice accent light or hair light or in a pinch, a decent fill on your subject's face. That being said, I don't really use it that much because when I find one I do need to use it, it falls a little short of what I need. Honestly, if this was double the size, it'd be perfect, but it might be perfect for you, so your mileage may vary. It retails for $209, so after the discount, you're looking at about $140. Not too shabby. But the big news you heard at the top is starting on Black Friday, they are accepting pre-orders for the Aperture 600D, which will be the LED equivalent of a 1200 watt HMI or a Joker 800, which if you haven't used one, means it's really fucking bright. The light retails for $1,890, which believe me, is a bargain for that output. Moving on to Atomus, they'll be selling their wildly popular Ninja V for $4.99 and just in time for Panasonic S5 owners who got word their cameras will now output 5.9K 12-bit ProRes RAW to said Atomus, which is insane. For a $2,000 camera body and with this deal, a $500 external recorder, you can get near 6K full-frame 12-bit RAW footage. That's, uh, it's redonkulous. It's, it, it's just silly. Atomus is also selling their Shogun 7-inch for $8.99, which is $400 off the retail price. DJI is offering discounts on a wide array of their products to varying different levels. They're offering so many different deals on nearly all their products it would just take way too much time to list them all. Some of them are better than others, to be sure. That $100 off the Ronin SC Pro combo is much more enticing than the 5% off you can get on the Mavic Air 2. That said, they've got some sort of discount on nearly all their products, so check them out. The best deal to me looks to be the very capable Ronin S Essentials Pack, which is selling for $348, which is $211 off the retail price. Laua is offering 25% off nearly all their lenses while knocking off $150 from their insanely popular 24mm probe lens. So if you get that lens, then all you need is a pony up for that sweet, sweet motion control rig and you're all set making those fancy beer commercials you've always been dreaming about. Luxly is having massive deals right now, some expiring sooner than others, but for the weekend nearly all their lights are $200 or more off. The Viola 2, 200 off. The Timpani, 200 off. The Tyco 2x1, $300 off. The cello, $170 off. The brand new Luxly Fiddle, which literally came out like a week ago, $40 off. They're selling a pack of three Luxly cellos for $547 off. I'm a Luxly fan, in case you couldn't tell. Violas, cello, I love their lights. Laser science. Is offering 20% off nearly all their lights, but they have a limited supply. In fact, I think by the time this video hits, they will have sold out of their entire stock of rainbow RGB quasars, so snooze you lose. But their wildly popular tube lights should still be available in nearly all other form factors, so get ready to rake in those sweet, sweet music video gigs. Small HD does not make very cheap stuff, but they really are offering up some big discounts on their products. Their popular 502 Bright Monitor is $100 off, while their Bolt 7 transmitters and receivers are each $400 off, and many of their higher-end products that sit firmly above $2,000 and even the $5,000 price range are drastically discounted to the tune of at least $1,000 or more dollars off. Their discounted prices are still really expensive and definitely reserved for high-end production slash production studio houses, but they seriously slash their prices. Hook me up, Doug. Everything on Tilted.com is 10% off. Now that's not a huge amount, but it's pretty nice and they are offering 25% off open box items. I personally love Tilted stuff, though admittedly I do not own any of it because I simply don't have a need for it, but I've used their gear on other shoots and loved everything about it. It also just is so pretty to look at. 
Actually, that's not true. I do own one thing by Tilta, and it's their seamless follow focus ring. It's not something that many people have talked about, and I think it's brilliant. It's basically a focus ring that's rubberized and is designed to slip onto almost any lens. You purchase them by the diameter of your lens, and they cost, are you ready for this? $2 or $1.80 right now on sale. Obviously, I have one of these, and I got it for my Rokinon 85mm, and it's absolutely brilliant. I love it. Just check this out. Put that on right there. Slide it on. Get that in there. Nice and tidy. Look at that. Are you kidding me? Geared focus ring. Straighten it out. $2. And it's firm. It's grippy. It's, it's fantastic. $2. Everything else is like really expensive or really garbage. This is an exceptionally good product. I endorse it. So if you need follow focus rings, get them. If you don't like it, boo-hoo, you're out two bucks. Skip a Starbucks day. Vexus boy. Hey, I know I did a video on the Hollyland Mars 300 and how nice it is, and it is. I'm not disappointed by it. But Vaxxas is dropping big discounts right now on their wireless video solutions. You can get the Vaxxas Atom 500 HMI right now for about $300. That's $300 to go wireless. That's a pretty rad price. Many of their other wireless options are also drastically discounted. So check them out if you're in the market for going wireless. Which, in the times of COVID, let's face it, we're all in the market for wireless. Side note, the Hollyland Mars 300, also $300 right now. Okay, I've gone through the brands, now let's talk cameras, people. I'm gonna speak off the cuff here. No teleprompter. The X-T3 is $500 off, which comes in at about $1,500 with the 16 to 80 millimeter lens. The X-T3 is filming me right now on the 18 to 55 lens, which I believe is a couple hundred dollars cheaper if you get it with that lens instead of the 16 by 80. 16 by 80, 16 to 80. Uh, I love this camera. It's been my workhorse. I've had it for two years now. Um, I would get another one if I could. Honestly, I'm considering it if I ever get enough money before this deal is over. Um, it's fantastic. Do I wish I had the Ibis of the X-T4? Yeah, sure. Why not? You know, the flip out screen. Yeah, it sucks. I can't look at myself right now. I got to use my Atomus right here. Uh, but the X-T3 does amazing, amazing work. It is one of the best cameras I've ever used and I love it. I like, honestly, I, I am a Fuji fanboy. I'll admit it. Uh, but my goodness, if they ever made a video camera, I think it's, it's game over. It's, I would love it. Like a proper video camera, not like another camera that shoots video. Please, what are you waiting for? The GH5 is $700 off at $1,297. The GH5 is still a workhorse camera. Uh, I know I just said I use the X-T3, but uh, you know, I got this guy right here, you know? This is not mine. This is the company I freelance for. They have two of them. They got them on my recommendation. They asked me what 4K cameras they can upgrade to because they used to shoot on Canon C100s. And I could have said the Fuji X-T3. I could have said the Sony A7S II, the A7 III, whatever. I told them to get the GH5 because the GH5 does everything. Like just for example, right now, I have a client that wants to shoot in 4K, 30 frames per second, 10-bit ProRes 422 with a Rec. 709 color profile baked into the image. There isn't really a camera that can do that. Uh, you can do, you can come up short, a little short there. Uh, you can do a Rec. 709 LUT, but it's not gonna be ProRes. You can do ProRes, but you're not gonna have Rec. 709 baked into it. Like you would have to get a RED or an ARRI or something high end to do that. Uh, but you know what can do it? The GH5 with an Atomus. It's it's twelve hundred dollars or thirteen hundred dollars. It's ridiculous. Uh, it's old. Yeah, it's been out for three four years now. It's still amazing. It's still fantastic. Uh, you can't go wrong with it. So if you're looking to get in on uh, video production and you need a camera that can do it all, uh, the GH5 you can't go wrong with it. The Nikon Z6 is $400 off, bringing it down to $1,600. Uh, this is significant because with Anatomist, you can get ProRes RAW out of it now. Um, it's one of the few cameras that can do that. Uh, obviously, the S5 just got that as well, uh, which is big news. Um, but before that, the only mirrorless camera that was doing it was the Nikon Z6. So if you need ProRes RAW, like RAW video, uh, and you want to get into that space, you can get a Nikon Z6, which is also a full-frame camera. Um, so yeah, that's a $1,600 full frame raw 
video camera, that's pretty good. You know, you got to get the Atomus with it too. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, if you're if you're into that. If you're into Nikon, I wish Nikon did more stuff uh, with video. Obviously, I think we all kind of do because there used to be a big debate Canon Nikon. Then they kind of fizzled out, and I love that the Z6 kind of came back with a little bit of a vengeance. But then you know, like it kind of just fizzled out. I'm a little upset about that. Oh well, moving on. The Canon EOS R is $209 off, bringing it to $1,600 total. If you want to get into Canon and full frame, 4K, I mean, obviously when this camera came out, people were a little disappointed, but just look around, look at how many people are using this camera. Uh, I think it has stood the test of time and people have realized that this camera is better than, you know, it, people were led to believe when it re was released. Um, $1,600 can't go wrong it is obviously the rf mount you can get the adapter rf mount lenses are wildly expensive um but yeah that's another camera you can get into right now the big ones that i think a lot of people are highlighting is the sony a7 III is about 300 dollars off comes in about 1700 dollars. before the a7s III came out the a7 III was just blowing people's minds they're like this is what the a7s III should have been not the a7 III uh, so many people shoot on that. I have encountered so many people in you know my my freelance travels who are shooting on that camera, both professionally and casually. It's just a really really good camera, uh, especially for video. And it's seventeen hundred dollars right now, which is a pretty good deal. Comes in two thousand normally, seventeen hundred, not too shabby. Following that up, uh, this is kind of weird to bring it up. The Sony A seven R two is $600 off coming in at $1,200. I'm only bringing this up because to me, the uh, a7R2 was one of my dream cameras when it came out. I thought, wow, it can do 4K video. You can get, you're not gonna get the low light performance of the a7S2, obviously. It's not gonna be as good, uh, but that 40 plus megapixel sensor taking those amazing full frame photos. I saw so many photos that came out of that camera that were just gorgeous. Uh, and I wanted it, but for the longest time, it was so expensive. I mean, even now, it's $600 off just now, bringing it to $1,200, which seems like a good price for a camera that's, you know, four or five years old. Uh, but that means before today, it was still $1,800 for a camera that they're already on the fourth version of. So the one that's two versions older is still pushing $2,000. That's... That's probably a testament to how good that camera is and how, you know, relevant it still can be. Um, and right now it's $1,200. So if you're into photography and you want that big megapixel count, big pixels, you know, 4K video in a pinch, obviously it's not, it's not the video camera the A7S II was uh, or is, um, but $1,200 is a pretty good price. And I'm saving this one for last. I want to talk about the Panasonic G7. Uh, right now... They are selling the Panasonic G7, which is a 4K Panasonic. It's not going to give you all the features the GH5 has. It is definitely an entry-level 4K camera for people that want to get into video production, uh, you know, starting off small, people that just need to, like, get their feet wet. If, if you are wanting to take the plunge into getting a camera so you can do, you know, a little bit of photo work, obviously Panasonics aren't renowned for their photography, but they do get the job done, and their video is excellent. Um, there are a lot of people that use the G7 as their professional camera. Uh, just gets a great image because Panasonic's do get a great video image. And the G7 right now is $400 off with two lenses that cover from wide angle down to like, I think 28 millimeters all the way up to 300 millimeters. Two lenses and the G7 and I think a couple of other small accessories for $600. $600 for a 4K camera that you can use professionally for video production if you need to, if you want to get your, your feet wet. $600, two lenses that cover all your focal ranges. I mean, come on. That, that's like the ultimate starter pack. Like, it, it, it's ridiculous. I mean, the, the, the lenses aren't going to, you know, you can't write home, I think, the... Uh, 4.5 to 5.6 uh, f-stop range so they're obviously not going to be super like bright sharp uh anything like that but if you just need to get something to just start to just start today 
that is maybe the best deal of any Black Friday thing out there right now, in my opinion. Uh, so if you're looking to get your start, G7, you cannot go wrong. All these other cameras, they're, they're great prices, don't get me wrong. The GH5, 1200 1300 bucks, fantastic price. You still got to get lenses. You still got to get memory cards. You still got to get storage. You still got to get, you know, all these accessories to really make it work. Uh, you could save a lot of money going with the G7, getting those two lenses, then putting that money you were saving up for a Sony a7 III or a GH5 or GH5S and just putting that towards other things like audio or lights. Uh, there's just so many good options out there. So the G7, I like it. This really is the best time to jump into creating videos. If you have been thinking about it, if you've been thinking about anything as far as like making videos for even YouTube or professionally trying to get work, shooting music videos, shooting short films, whatever, there's never been a better time than right now, Black Friday deals. There's a lot of great cameras that are discounted heavily that are worth the investment. Uh, just comes down to how much you got. So, yeah. That's it. That's that's the that's the news. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I went off the cuff. It's a little rambly there. I apologize. Or do I? I don't know. That's our show. We'll see you next week. Uh, this has been the Cindy Dorks Weekly Review. I'm Logan Bose, and you are welcome. <laughs>